Hello, Irving. What happened to you yesterday? Hi, yesterday. Sorry, teacher. What happened to you yesterday? We miss you. I was taking, I was taking care of a little girl. <laughs> Missing in action. <laughs> What happened to you yesterday? My wife was uh, busy and I have to take care of my children. Ah, you have to take my care of, the, of, of your little child. But she has to yes. be sleepy at eight. <laughs> Enough time for you to come to class. <laughs> but no, she was... Give her, give her at night, a, give her a bath, a bath, yes. okay, with, with warm water. And by, there is, there is an, an oil for, for the body that is with a manzanilla and then oh, yeah. apply it to her okay like in all her body in order to relax her okay she's hyperactive yes she is my yes and she then but you need to relax her in order to make her go to sleep and the best yes. way is giving her a warm bath and then put that oil, okay? And give her also a chamomile tea, okay? Some chamomile tea, té de manzanilla. Yes. There is, we... uh, there is another that is called uh, Pasiflora, that is Tilo with Valeriana. But start, start ah, yeah. start with chamomilla, because if if with chamomilla she dis, didn't relax, then uh, use tilo and valeriana. Okay, that's stronger, because she needs to sleep. Okay, uh, the children uh, had a lot of uh, well, all the people had a lot of functions that you had to do during night. That's why uh, when you work at night, even if you sleep all the day, you don't feel that you rest. It's not the same because I those know. functions are at night. Okay. And if you don't make her sleep the hours she is supposed to sleep, then she is missing that, and in the future it will be even bad for her health. Yeah, I suppose that. Uh huh. So she has to go to sleep at eight, and then you have yeah. to give her that preparation around six thirty seven in order to make her go to sleep at eight, okay? Because uh, you have to put the rules at home. She's too young for for let her do whatever she wants. That's In the future, question. you will say, why I don't discipline her when she was little. Yes, I think so. <laughs> Well, and have you finished your your uh, section five? Uh, yes, I, I I just okay. Uh, and the... and how is how is your your exam? Have you finished the exam as well? No, I I no. Me falta el exam, the final exam. Okay, the exam we will finish it today. Okay. Okay. We will finish the exam today. Uh, do you have a, uh, you can have another uh, thing open in order to make your test at the same time? Or are you yes, going I to am. do it later? 
I can do it. You have another, another. You have a computer in 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 your cell phone. I'm my I'm my cell phone, my cell phone. Yeah. Ah, okay, and you can open both things. Yes. Ah, nice, nice. Some people cannot do it. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Hi, Omar. Welcome to class. Okay, we are going to finish the PPT that we had from last class. We, we haven't finished. And uh, while we are waiting for your classmates, okay? When everybody is here, we will start with the with the exam. Okay, here we were talking about both, either, and neither. Okay, both, ambos, either, and neither. And here we have one supermarket, two supermarkets, more than two supermarkets, okay? One supermarket. The supermarket was closed, just one. Two supermarkets, both of the supermarkets were closed. More than two supermarkets, all the supermarkets were closed, okay? One supermarket. The supermarket wasn't open. This is with negative, okay? Neither, neither, here was both, and here, neither. Mm -hmm. Neither of the supermarkets was open. And in the case of more than two, none of the supermarkets were open. Okay, and the other one. I don't think the supermarket was open. I don't think either of the supermarkets was open. And the other one, I don't think any of the supermarkets were open. Okay? Either and neither es como que ni el uno ni el otro. Okay? O sea, either, algún otro, ¿verdad? En neither, ninguno. O sea, neither, ninguno. Entonces, este, así es como se manejan estos. El, 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 el uso de both, neither, and either. Y si se fijan, aquí dice, por ejemplo, more than two supermarkets. All the supermarkets, none of the supermarkets, and uh, any of the supermarkets. Okay. So, both, neither, and either are used with two things. Cuando usted tiene que escoger entre uno y el otro. Okay. Note. Nouns with both have a plural verb, but nouns with either and neither have a singular verb. Okay, if you notice here, neither was, either was. Okay. They have singular. Porque está diciendo ninguno está o alguno esté. ¿Verdad? Entonces va con singular. En every and each, we use the quantifier every and each with singular nouns to mean all. There was a party in every street. There were parties in all the streets, okay? 
every shop was decorated with flowers. All the shops were decorated with flowers. Pero cuando está ocupando every and each, está, se ocupa este, el verbo en singular. Okay. There was a party in every street. Pero como es en cada calle, o sea, cada calle tenía una fiesta. Ok. Pero cuando estamos ocupando every y cuando estamos ocupando each, ¿verdad? Each. Aquí está each. Each child was given a prize. O sea, a cada uno de los niños se les dio un premio. There was a prize in each competition. Okay. Now, uh, Suleima, read this, please. We often use every to talk about times, like days, weeks, and years. Okay, mm. uh, Uriel. When we when we were children, we had holidays at our grandmothers every year. Okay, uh, Omar. When we were staying at the grandmothers' house, went to the beach every day. We went to the beach every day. We went. We went to the beach every day, okay? Now, Uriel. We visit our daughter every Christmas. Okay, we visit our daughter every Christmas. We do not use the determiner with every and each. Okay, the determiner is the. O sea, T-H-E, mm -hmm. the. Eso no se ocupa con every y con each. O sea, aquí dice, every shop was decorated with flowers. No decimos de every shop. ¿Verdad? Sino que ya se pone solo every shop. Each child was given a prize. No se dice de each child. ¿Ok? Solo se dice each child. Pero podemos decir... The child, the child was given a prize, pero no estamos diciendo each. ¿Ok? Bien. Entonces, ahora una pregunta. Eh, solo han venido tres, que son normalmente los, los que más vienen. Pero nos falta Gabriel... Y Miguel, que últimamente ha estado ingresando. ¿Los esperamos? ¿O empezamos el examen? Hello. ¿Creen que van a venir bueno, bueno, o no? Porque son nueve y catorce. Los esperamos cinco minutos más. Vemos el otro para mientras. A ver qué podemos encontrar en este. En este ya hicimos casi todo lo que teníamos que hacer. ¿Verdad? Ayer. Ya hicimos casi todo lo que viene en este. Porque ayer adelantamos. Ok. Eh... Uriel, read the thought for today, please. Okay, let me. Technology is just a tool in terms of getting the kids working together and motivating, motivating them. The teacher is the most important. Okay. So technology is only a tool. Okay. The teacher cannot be replaced yet by computers and cell phones, okay? But we may use computers and, and cell phones in order to 
help with the education. Okay. It's like uh, that uh, AI, no, no, AI, sí, la inteligencia artificial, este, yo le tengo miedo a esa tontera, sinceramente. Sí, está, está. Y me la están ofreciendo ahí a cada ratito, ¿verdad? Que, que, que use esta herramienta, que es una inteligencia artificial y que no sé qué. Y yo, mm, no. O sea, siento que ya le estamos dando demasiada importancia a la tecnología y estamos haciendo la memoria a un lado. Ya no nos memorizamos ni los números de teléfonos. Ni nuestras, no, no. ni nuestras cuentas de banco, ni, ni nuestras este, placas del, del vehículo. O sea, todo, todo en el celular. Y si se nos pierde el celular, se nos perdió la mente. Porque nosotros ya no guardamos nada en la mente. Bueno, yo todavía sí me sé, mi, bueno, todavía me acuerdo del teléfono que tenía en El Salvador cuando era una niña de 10 años. Me acuerdo de los de, de, de cuál fue mi número de cédula que, que saqué a los 18 años y después me, me dieron mi, mi, mi duda, ¿verdad? Pero mi cédula, yo todavía me acuerdo de mi número de cédula. Eh, cuando yo tenía 18 años la saqué. 1-1-287278. De esas cosas yo me acuerdo. Entonces, pero pregúntele a un niño si se sabe algo importante. No. Entonces, este, estamos queriendo depender demasiado de eso. Y, y yo considero que eh, músculo que no se usa se atrofia. ¿Verdad? Entonces, si no Así. usamos el cerebro, se nos va a atrofiar. Y por eso es bueno que ustedes sigan estudiando. O sea, siempre hay que continuar capacitándose. Cuando terminen con inglés, agarren otra cosa, pero continúen siempre capacitándose para darle uso al cerebro. Okay. Entonces aquí, a, a, ayer estábamos hablando sobre esto, quantifiers, okay. all, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, not many, a few, few, and no one. And we also finish the knowledge check eh, Uriel, que no viniste ayer, eh, ¿ya tenés completado toda la sección 5 o querés revisar las, las, las últimos ejercicios? No, ahorita voy bien. ¿Ya los terminó? Ok. Entonces, también hicimos esto de Changing Family. Ok. Eh, para mientras esperamos, leámoslo de nuevo. Ok. Eh, voy a empezar a leer yo y después eh, voy a mencionar a alguien y después ese alguien, cuando quiera parar, para y menciona a alguien más para que continúe leyendo. The Changing Family. Read the title of the article, then check the question you think the article will answer. Why do women work outside the home? Or what happens when both parents work? For me, that is what happens when both parents work, because that is a big, 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 big change in the family. Sea un gran cambio en la familia cuando ambos padres trabajan. Okay, um, Suleima. American families are changing. One important change is that most married women now work outside the home. What happens when both parents work? Read about the moral moral family. And Judy and Steve Moral Morales have three children. George, este, eh, wait, 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 wait. You are not. You are going to read everything. You are not good, uh, going to let your your partners read something. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I'm um, just asking because I, I let you, I told you that you 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 stop whenever you want, but I I'm just uh, letting you know. That, okay. My and Judy and Steve Morales have three children. Joy Star, Ben Nine, and Emily Six, and Irving. If it's a computer programmer, this year Judy is working again as a hospital administrator. And continue, Omar. Omar? Hola. The family? The family needs to money and do Judy like her job. Everything is going well, but there are also some problems. There are also, there are also some problems. Okay. ¿Quién va a continuar? Omar, usted decide. Suleima. Ok, Suleima. Now, Chad Judy is working. Steve has to help her more with the hard work. He doesn't enjoy it in Irving. Uh, Judy, loves, Judy loves her work, but she feels too tired. You see. She worries about the children. Judy has to work on Saturdays, and Steve and Judy don't have a lot of free time together. Omar. Emily is having a great time in her after school program. When Judy comes to pick her up, she doesn't want. She doesn't, she doesn't want, she doesn't want. She doesn't want to... To live. To live. Okay. To live. Okay. Unfortunately, Ben's school doesn't have an after-school program right now. He's spending most afternoons in front of the TV. Irving. Josh is enjoying his new freedom after school. He's playing his music louder and spending more time on the phone. He's also doing a few household Chores. Household. Household chores. Oh. Household, Household chores. Okay. We children are benefi uh, benefiting from Judy working. ¿Cuáles son los hijos que están siendo beneficiados por el trabajo de, de Judy? The girl. Era la niña, ajá. ¿Y quién más? Emily, Emily, Ben, and George. Emily and George, ajá. Which child is not benefiting from Judy working? I don't remember, I don't remember his name. Sería Ben. Ben. Sí, Ben, porque eh, él... No tiene an after school program and he's spending most afternoons in front of the TV. Okay. Now, which family member is enjoying more freedom? George. George. And which family members are doing most more housework? ¿Quiénes son los que están trabajando más en la casa? O sea, haciendo cosas del hogar. 
Es son dos. ¿Quiénes son? The husband. El esposo, ajá, Steve. And, Steve and... and George. Okay. Which family member feels too busy? ¿Quién es el que se siente demasiado ocupada? George. La que está trabajando. O de nuevo, o sea, está comenzando a trabajar. Judy, ¿ok? Hi, Miguel. Justo el que estábamos sí. esperando. Vaya, hoy sí ya podemos empezar con todo. Sí. <ríe> ya vamos con el examen. ¿Verdad? Ya vino Miguelito. Gabriel nos quedó mal. Se nos ausentó, Gabriel. Sí. Permítanme, share sound, y aquí está. Ok. Tell me about your family, Catherine. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Well, I have four sisters, Annette, Sarah, Jill, and Liza. Wow, that's great. And do you have any brothers? Yes, I have three brothers, Ed, Mark, and Sam, and we all eat dinner together each night, all my brothers and sisters and my parents. How fun! It's like having a party every night. Yeah, I guess it is. Two. Hi, Mark. Nice to see you again. Hey, where are you working now? I'm working full-time for a newspaper. I'm a photographer there. Wow, that's interesting. Are you still living at home? No, I'm not. I'm living in an apartment with Jim. He's an old friend from school. So you're not married? No, not right now. But I am getting married this summer. Congratulations. Thanks. Three. How often do you exercise, Sharon? Well, I go jogging about twice a week. Oh, really? And do you ever go to the gym? Yes. I usually go on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Wow. How long do you spend there? Mm, around two or three hours each time I go there. Well, you're not a couch potato. That's for sure. Four. Listen to this, Kylie. It says here, in Australia, most married couples have children. Oh, that's true. My parents have two kids, my sister and me. In my country, we have really big families. There are 12 people in my family. That's amazing. And are they all living at home? Well, some of my younger brothers and sisters are still in school and living at home with my parents. A few of us older ones are married with children. Are you all living in the same town? No, my two older brothers are single and working abroad but the others live near our parents in the same town. Okay, do you want to listen again? ¿Quieren escucharlo yes. otra vez? Yes? Okay, yes. again. Tell me about your family, Catherine. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Well, I have four sisters. Annette, Sarah, Jill, and Liza. Wow, that's great. And do you have any brothers? Yes, I have three brothers, Ed, Mark, and Sam. And we all eat dinner together each night, all my brothers and sisters and my parents. How fun. It's like having a party every night. Yeah, I guess it is. Uh-huh. How many uh, brothers and sisters Catherine has? Seven. Seven. Okay, seven. Two. Hi, Mark. Nice to see you again. Hey, where are you working now? I'm working full-time for a newspaper. I'm a photographer there. Wow, that's interesting. Are you still living at home? No, I'm not. I'm living in an apartment with Jim. He's an old friend from school. So you're not married? No, not right now, but I am getting married this summer. Congratulations. Thanks. 
three. Uh huh. Nowadays, Mark is living with a friend. With a friend, excellent. With a friend. Now, number three. How often do you exercise, Sharon? Well, I go jogging about twice a week. Oh, really? And do you ever go to the gym? Yes, I usually go on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Wow. How long do you spend there? Mm, around two or three hours each time I go there. Well, you're not a couch potato. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay. Uh, Sharon usually goes to the gym. Three times a week. Three times a week. Three, three times a week. Four. Listen to this, Kylie. It says here, in Australia, most married couples have children. Oh, that's true. My parents have two kids, my sister and me. In my country, we have really big families. There are 12 people in my family. That's amazing. And are they all living at home? Well, some of my younger brothers and sisters are still in school and living at home with my parents. A few of us older ones are married with children. Are you all living in the same town? No. My two older brothers are single and working abroad, but the others live near our parents in the same town. Okay, son of the man's, aquí está mal escrito, es younger sin esta R. Younger brothers and sisters, ¿qué pasa con ellos? In school. Are in school. Are in school. Are working abroad. Are working abroad. Perdón. Are working, working, working abroad. Eh, abroad. Pero dice de los más jóvenes. Los más jóvenes están en la escuela, dice. Pero probable está equivocado la, la respuesta que pusieron aquí. Pero originalmente, o sea, según lo que le escuchamos, dice que los younger están en la escuela. Sí, estaba lo que dijo el compañero, no salió mala esa. Pero eh, esos no son los más, los más jóvenes. Porque los más jóvenes están en la escuela. Con los padres. No viven con sí, hay unos que viven cerca, cerca, pero no están con ellos. Ok. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see. Complete the conversations. Ok. Complete the sentences with do, does, or good. Right. Eh, vamos a empezar con Omar, después Irving. Después Suleima y después Miguel, ¿ok? ¿Cuál sería aquí? Do, does, or good? Eh, good, the like to feel a movie tonight. Good, you like to see a movie tonight? Sure. What time does it start? ¿Ok? Now, Irving. Do you like horror movies? Do you like horror movies? No, not really. Okay. Suleyma. <clears throat> what, kind of, what kind of music does your friend Ricardo like? Rock okay. and classical. Does your I friend think. Ricardo like? Okay, rock and classical, I think. Now, number two. Miguel, complete the following conversation. Use the present continuous of the verbs. How is your sister? Is she, is she studying this day? Is, is she studying? Ah, is, 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 is she studying? 
Ok, sí, es que es... No me fijé que era pregunta. Ok, the next. Eh, Uriel. Ah, no, perdón, Omar. No, she is not. She is working as a cashier at a grocery store. Is working as a cashier at a grocery store. Pregun permítanme. Bueno. Eh, Uriel. Bueno. Is that David over there? Who's waiting for? Waiting for. He's waiting for. Okay. Who is he waiting for? Okay. His girlfriend, Maggie. She? Mm, she is coming in on the bus. Vamos a ver. Sí, nos salieron buenas todas. Son buenas ustedes para dar copia. <risa> Bien, este, ¿todos lo tienen ya? ¿O necesitan que lo repitamos? Este sí. Bien, entonces, este, Miguel, number one. Primero Miguel, después Omar, después Irving y después Soleil. Y un solo contestando con la, con la con, como debe de ser. Would you like to see a movie tonight? Sure. What time does it start? Do you like horror movies? No, not really. Not really, not really. O sea, cuando ustedes vean e a punto es i, es una i larga. Not really. Okay. Irving. Music does your friend Ricardo like? Rock and classical, I think. Okay, Suleima. How is your sister? Is she studying this day? Okay, now Miguel. No, she isn't. She is working as a cashier at grocery store. Okay, Omar. Is the uh, baby over there? Who is, is he waiting for? Excellent. Now, Uriel. His girlfriend, Maggie. She is coming in on the bus. Okay. She is coming in on the bus. Okay. She is coming in on the bus. Vamos con el siguiente. Multiple choice. Choose the correct word. Okay. Uh, Miguel. Yay. They does yoga every morning before breakfast. Okay. Now, Omar. How often do you play swimming in the summer? ¿Cuál dijiste? Play. Play. ¿Y los demás están de acuerdo? Is go. Eh, ¿Qué verbo usamos cuando de, a, hablamos sobre swimming? Go. 
go. go. How often do you go swimming? Eso sería lo normal, ¿ok? Now, eh, Irving. Sometimes play baseball with my friends. Baseball. Baseball, baseball. with my baseball. friends. Ok. 25. Ok. ¿Estamos bien? ¿Alguna duda o consulta? Hay ciertos verbos que se ocupan ya de un solo. Por ejemplo, este swimming siempre se va a ocupar con go. Go swimming. Eh, digamos, cuando usted habla de lavar los trastos, dicen do the ditches. Do the ditches. Eh, mm -hmm. Hay quienes dicen wash the dishes, que sería lo normal para nosotros, ¿verdad? Pero eh, en inglés dicen, I will go to do the dishes, o sea, cuando es que van a lavar los, los, los platos. No es que estén haciendo el plato, sino que lo están lavando, ¿verdad? Entonces, cuando hablamos de swimming, decimos go swimming. Y tenemos el reading. Ok. Audrey Toto. Audrey Toto. Oops. A ver. Read the article, then check the correct answers. Vamos a ver primero cuáles son las preguntas que nos van a hacer para que nos demos cuenta a la hora de estarlas leyendo cuál, eh, eh, qué es lo que vamos a tener que responder. Okay. In high school, Audrey Toto acts. Entonces vamos a ver si es plays, television, or movies. Okay. Nos vamos a dar cuenta en la lectura. Excuse me. Many Americans like the movie. Uh, would you Emily? Oh, God is great. I'm not. O sea, tenemos que ver cuál es el que, el, 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 la película que a la mayor, que a muchos americanos les gustó. Después dice, Audrey acts in three movies in. ¿En qué año de estos es que ella eh, actuó en tres películas? Después. In her movies, Audrey usually speaks. Tenemos que ver cuáles de estos idiomas es el que ella normalmente habla en las películas. ¿Ok? Entonces, este, ¿quieren que se los lea yo o lo vamos leyendo entre todos? Corazones. Entre todos. Entre todos. Ok. Sí. Eh, ¿Lo quieren repetir después de mí o cada quien por su cuenta? Después. 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 ¿Perdón? Después de usted. Ok. Audrey Toto. Perdón. Audrey. Toto. Toto. O sea, esto, esto me suena a francés. Okay. Audrey Toto is a young French actress. Audrey Toto is a young French actress. She has fans around the world. She has fans around the world. Here are some interesting things about Audrey's life and career. Here are some interesting things about Audrey's life and career. In career. 1978. 1978. 
Audrey is born in Ber uh, Beaumont. Audrey is born in Beaumont, France. Audrey is born in Beaumont, France. Beaumont, Beaumont, France. Beaumont, France. 1980s and 1990s. 1980s. 1990s. 1990s. O sea, en los 80s y en los 90s. Audrey acts in plays, especially comedies, in high school. Audrey acts in plays, especially comedies, in high school. High school. After that, she goes to acting school. After that, she goes to acting school. She wins the prize. She wins the prize. Best newcomer. Best newcomer. Best newcomer. For her acting on French TV. For her acting on French TV. 1999. 1999. Audrey acts in many movies. Audrey acts in many movies. Including. Including. Bonjour. Bonjour. 2000. 2000. Then she plays a young woman called Amelie. Then she plays a young woman called Amelie. In a movie of the same name. In a movie of the same name. Amelie 2001. Family 2001. Is in French. Is in French. But the film is a big international hit. But the film is a big international hit. Audrey becomes popular in many countries. Audrey becomes popular. Country. Including the United States. Including the United States. Audrey also acts in a film called God is Great. Audrey also acts in a film called God is Great. I am not. I am not. 2002. 2002. 2003. 2003. Audrey has a big year. Audrey has a big year. She acts in the Spanish apartment. She acts in the Spanish apartment. And he loves me, he loves me not. And he and loves me, me, he loves me now. She also acts, he also acts. acts. in dirty pretty things. In dirty pretty things. This is the first time she speaks English in a movie. This, this is the first time she speaks English in a movie. In the movie. Ajá. Entonces, los otros movies, ¿en qué idioma creen que lo hizo? French. 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 Ok. Bien. Entonces, este, vamos a contestarlo. Eh, bueno, una pregunta. ¿Lo contestamos ahorita? ¿O leemos así, tomando turnos primero? Bueno, Leemos primero y después sí. lo contestamos. 
¿Sí? Bien, entonces yo empiezo. Audrey Tautou. Audrey Tautou is a young French actress. She has fans around the world. Here are some in interesting things about Audrey's life and career. Uh, Irving. 1978. Audrey is born in Vermont, France. Continue. Beaumont. Beaumont. Vermont. Beaumont. Beaumont. France. France. 80s and 90s. 90s. Audrey. Audrey acts in plays, especially comedies, in high school. After that, she goes to acting school. She wins the prize. Best new, new, newcomer for her acting on French TV, 1999. Acuérdense que ustedes deciden hasta dónde llegan y quién sigue después de ustedes. Eh, Miguel. Mm. 2000, 2002. Andrew at in many movies, including Boys Voyage. Boyu, Boyu, Voyage. Boyu, Voyage. 2000, then she plays a young woman called Amelie in a Amelie. movie. Amelie. Amelie. Amelie in a movie of the same name, Amelie. 2001 is a French, uh, but, but the film is a big international hit. Andrew, okay. Andrew be, becomes popular in many countries, including the United States. Andrew also at in the in a field called good is great i am not god 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 is god, great god is great i, I am, am not, not i am okay. not 2002 uh, omar and he has a big word. He is up in the Spanish apartment and he loves my high loves me not. He also up in dream petty things. The, the French time is speaking with an amori. Okay. Bien. Entonces ahora. Eh, vamos a contestar. Solo Imo. In high school, Audrey taught to act in, in place. Excellent. Okay. Eh, Irving. Uh, many Americans like the movie uh, Amelie. Amelie. Okay. Uh, Miguel. Andrew acts in three movies in 2003. Okay, Omar. In her movie, Andy usually sits uh, right? Okay, let's see. Excellent. Right, ahora una consulta. ¿Todos ya terminaron su examen en su plataforma? 
Sí. ¿Sí? ¿Todos lo tienen completito? Porque acuérdense que mañana le van a revisar temprano si ya tienen todo completo. Este, y ya hicieron ustedes su, ¿cómo se llama? Ya les mandaron a ustedes sus, sus eh, papeles para el próximo curso. ¿Ya, les, ya, no, ya, ya se los mandaron? No, 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 no. Es... Con la empresa lo gestiona. La, la empresa es, lo hace automáticamente. Ah, vaya. Sí, averigüen porque, ¿cómo se llama? Ya para estas alturas ya deberían de tener eh, lleno de esto, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y enviado. Entonces, eh, porque ustedes aquí ya tienen el 100%, porque si sí. no se, se atrasan en, en, en enviarlo, entonces se van como retrasando, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, Aquí ya estamos con el 100%, todos deben de estar así, ¿verdad? Cuando miren aquí en lo que es el progreso, progreso del curso. Ok, eh, mañana vamos a tener como eh, lo que ustedes van a, a estar hablando más, ¿verdad? Y también este, vamos a hacer como repaso de, de, de cosas eh, gramaticales que son importantes reforzar eh, sobre eh, eso de los de los el orden de los adjetivos le estaba comentando yo a mi hijo que eh, en el examen TOEFL sale y entonces este y la mayoría de profesores no dan ese tema de los adjetivos, ¿verdad? Que llevan un orden. Y entonces, este, y por ejemplo, a él nada menos, hace poquito le pusieron una prueba de inglés y salía eso y me dice, pero en, en los módulos de, de las clases no me han dado eso. O sea, se lo preguntan y no se lo dan. Entonces, si yo le digo, Tomá, te voy, a, te voy a compartir algo que yo le doy a mis alumnos, le digo, porque sí es importante que tú lo sepas. Me dice, ¿cómo es que no me dan esta clase ellos y me lo están preguntando en los exámenes? Bueno, hay profesores que así son, le digo, <risa> pero tu mamá sí lo tiene y tu mamá te lo está presentando, le digo, así que hoy no puedes decir que no lo sabes. <risa> ¿Verdad? Y entonces, este... Eso lo vamos a estar reforzando mañana y otras cositas. Eh, no dejen de venir. Acuérdense que también eh, este, los ingresos a, la, a, a las clases también se lo toman en cuenta como parte de, de, de las calificaciones. Este, ¿Alguna duda o consulta de algo que haya quedado durante todo el, el, el módulo? dudas no. o consultas que tengo no. revisen si tienen todos los ejercicios eh, completados les tienen que aparecer todo así miren todo con ese cheque, chequecito todos tienen que estar con un chequecito o sea cada sección y el examen final ¿Lo tienen todos así en su, en su plataforma? Yes. Sí. Bien, este, y ya pueden, y ya pueden bajar su, su, su diploma. No han verificado. Si no. Pueden. Todavía no. Entonces, este, antes de que lo bajen y lo impriman, verifiquen que su nombre esté correcto. Si hay algún problema en el nombre, eh, le dicen a los facilitadores que, que están ahí, en, a, los, a los de servicio técnico que están en el WhatsApp, ¿verdad? en el grupo de WhatsApp, para que se los arreglen, porque ustedes lo tienen que tener, más que ustedes lo presentan en el, en el trabajo, ¿verdad? Presentan sus diplomas o no se los piden. No se los han No se los han pedido. Bueno, pero es bueno para su currículum que usted tenga esos diplomas, ¿verdad? 
Entonces, eh, descárguelos, guárdelos en alguna memoria y cómo se llama, este, también eh, imprímalo para agregarlo en su currículum, ¿ok? Okay. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye.